If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button to stay in touch for more videos like this. Molten is a system that relies on players having good mental attributes to exploit space. Based loosely on the liquid tactic, it differs slightly on the application. While liquid depends heavily on player traits, Molten instead relies on FM20's match engine, which favours higher tempo systems. Molten plays aggressively in the opponent's third, utilizing the split block and sets defensive line traps in midfield. Balls through the middle unlocking defenses will happen if you have chosen the right players. In midfield, Molten uses a playmaker and an inverted winger on opposite flanks to move opposition teams around. The inverted winger will drive into the box and look to slip balls inside. Alongside him is a Mazala who can also do the same, but his job when he gets the ball is to switch the attacks to the other flank when inside forward is prepared to drive at defences. Let's take a look at some of the roles and duties in the system. It's loosely based on Liquid from FM19. We have an F9 who drops deep and also roams from position. We have an inverted winger who's been told to close down more tackle hard than Mark Titer. The inside forward does exactly the same thing. But in midfield, central midfield, these two players have been told to close down more and tackle harder, but they've not been told to mark tighter. The AP and the Mazala. The Mazala has the added instruction of dribbling more. In defense, we are using a fullback who's been told to take fewer risks, shoot less often, and an inverted wing back. The rest of the roles do not have any PIs on them. What about team instructions? This tactic can be played on positive, attacking and very attacking mentalities. It utilizes shorter passing and higher tempo. This is something I will not change. However, width can be adjusted. Sometimes I like to play on very narrow settings if I desire to keep more of the ball. Uh, pass into space is a situational instruction. I don't recommend starting with it all the time unless you see a lot of space building up or if you have lots of possession and you want to try a bit more risk in getting the ball into tight spaces. Run at defense is going to draw a lot of yellow cards because this system is fairly compact and drives at defenses. So there's a strong possibility teams are going to pick up yellow cards. Hitting early crosses is my favorite instruction against stacked defenses. Then we have distribute the fullbacks as well as the counter press and counter. Uh, the team will defend narrow, offering space down the flanks for the opposition to attack us. In doing so, we are hoping that when they lose the ball in these areas, we can release two, these two players with quick counter attacks. When I left this to the ass man, I told him to play with a much higher line of engagement and a high defensive line and he won the title and the Champions League with it. So maybe it does work. <laughs> Are there any player traits that I would recommend? I would recommend that you get a Mazala who has switch balls to other flanks. And I would also recommend that you find a way to give your inverted wing back the ability to play killer balls because he is going to be in a very dangerous position when he enters this area of the pitch one thing i noticed about this tactic everybody's a winner everybody's gonna get a chance to score goals apart from the goalkeepers so if you want the goalkeepers to score goals too then all you have to do is ask them to take penalty kicks the set pieces in this system are pretty basic we've got both the central defenders attacking the box for indirect, wide and indirect, deep systems, we've got both the um, central defenders attacking the near post and the far post. As far as attributes are concerned, if you're aiming for success in the Champions League, nothing less than 15 for key attributes. The key attributes for the inverted winger, for example, should include dribbling, first touch, passing, vision of the ball, decisions, anticipation, agility, and acceleration. Because you're playing with a higher defensive line, Work rate is going to be very important because your backline is going to be going up to a support attacks and getting back to defense. So acceleration and work rate cannot be less than 15. The inverted winger and the inside forward are going to be scoring goals plus creating goals scoring opportunities for everybody else. So you definitely want players here with intelligence and good off the ball. So off the ball, anticipation, vision, decisions, passing, crossing, dribbling, finishing, composure, balance, agility, are all going to be important attributes to consider. This tactic can easily be modified for teams that are a lot weaker. 
All you got to do is turn this guy into a pressing forward and turn this guy into an inverted winger on support and swap the AP and the Mazala so that you get most of your creation on this side of the flank. This way you can unlock the right flank with attacks. So it's a pretty mallable system that you can use with quite a few teams. If you want to use Molten for good teams, it's going to be interesting because you can of course leave the ass man in charge and go make coffee and come back and you know if your selection was good you should be able to win the title without too much effort well i hope you enjoy using molten liverpool did the treble won the champions league on holiday mode with the assistant manager ac milan lifted the title on holiday mode with uh, the tactic newcastle finished in mid table with uh, the assistant manager in charge and i didn't even do a thing so it's possible to do well with the tactic the only thing to remember is you're not going to get a 40 goal striker goals are going to be spread across the pitch so you need to accept that and furthermore you're going to have to think about who's taking set pieces because set pieces are also going to drive your performances well i hope you find this tactic enjoyable let me know how you get along you know where to find me you can always find me on twitter at bustanet or addicted to fm.com my website i also stream three times a week on twitch once again i want to thank everybody for the support you guys take care have a good one i'll see you again soon Bye bye